to see everyone back. I'm grateful to the Lord Almighty for his protection of all of us. The speaker kindly indulge me to bring to your notice and to the notice of the House some matters that require urgent national attention. These matters, Mr. Speaker, are worrying and since they have the potential to disturb the peace and threaten the stability of the democracy. Mr. Speaker, this is particular so because if this is not checked, it can lead into the destruction of the democracy that we have all fought for. Mr. Speaker, proud to the last district assembly elections, the NDC minority caucus raised concerns about the conduct of the Electoral Commission during the limited registration. This was because the Commission made terrible decisions that threatened the integrity of Ghana's electoral process. Mr. Speaker, this set the electoral, uh, the electoral Commission on a coalition course with some political parties, civil society organizations, and potential first-time voters. In February 2023, the NDC minority had a cause to say that this electoral commission enjoys taking unwholesome decisions, being disruptive, fancies courting public disaffection, and enjoys being roundly condemned by right-thinking people. We said this at the time because the electoral commission had taken a decision to restrict first-time voters to register only at the offices of the electoral commission. That reckless decision had the potential to disenfranchise or deprive the vast majority of first-time voters the opportunity to have their names captured in the voter register. That decision by the Electoral Commission made the registration of new voters during the limited registration exercise very difficult. ...and democracy and go a long way to, to ground the public perception of bias on the part of this particular Electoral Commission. Mr. Speaker, why must this Electoral Commission always take questions, questionable decisions which create chaos and confusion across the country? Why must this Electoral Commission always threaten, threaten the peace and stability of our dear democracy? Mr. Speaker, I may ask again, why must it always be, why must it take massive pushback from the public and backlash from the Electoral Commission to always do what is right for the people of Ghana? Mr. Speaker, whilst we acknowledge the Electoral Commission is an independent body, it must be pointed out in no uncertain terms to the Electoral Commission that it does not have the independence to make dangerous, ridiculous, and outrageous decisions that can affect the peace and stability of our country and its democracy. It is